Hey Cancer, welcome back to my channel. I'm here today to do your July mid-month reading for 2019. So Cancer, I've definitely got the urge where it wouldn't even let me sleep to get up out of the bed and do these readings for mid-month. And I wasn't planning on doing it until uh, probably about a week from now, to on the 15th. But it was like a creeping up feeling. I was leaving the office. I was like, oh, well, maybe I should just go ahead and um <laughs> do it tonight then it was like maybe i should do it tonight and then as i'm i'm getting in the bed it's like i think i want to do it and in my like trying to go to sleep it was like i gotta get up and do these readings it was just like a feeling so while i was watching a show i didn't even realize it i'm watching a show and i got that feeling at the timer being at 11 minutes and 11 seconds i just paid attention to that i didn't even notice that so I ended up pausing my, my wonderful show, Lucifer. And if you notice, the timer is on 11, 12. I literally, no lie, just noticed that. So I literally must have got that feeling to get up and do these, you know. I've been seeing 11, 11 and all fives a lot, Cancer. So I don't know what this means, but I've definitely got to get into my numerology. So Cancer, what's going on for July? We have for July mid-month. The Fool, Cancer, I'm getting, you definitely want to create a new start. We have the World Card, yes, completing cycles, completing or finishing out cycles. We have the King of Cups, this could definitely be your energy or you could be dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Cancer. So yeah, um, Cancer. For July mid-month, I'm getting you definitely just want a brand new start. You're looking, no matter what's going on, I see you looking at the sun. And this world card, this woman is looking at the new start. Um, with the King of Cups, I don't get the energy of looking back at the situation. I get the energy of looking forward. Just I get that energy of looking forward, Cancer. So I think that's a wonderful energy to start off with. Um, after this, these eclipses could also be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, oh man, definitely. Or you could have fire in your chart and could be dealing with a water sign or vice versa. But you could be completing a cycle and starting <laughs> a new one with your king or your queen, Cancer. Um, I see a Sagittarius for a Cancer male. I see a Sagittarius for a Cancer male. For the woman, I still see a water sign. But for a Cancer woman, yeah, I see a, a water sign. Someone with a lot of water in their chart could possibly be, I don't think you're, I don't think, I think a Cancer male is dealing with a Sagittarius woman or a fire sign woman. Oh man, Cancer, you are not playing. We have the two of cups. You are not playing. I get a Cancer male dealing with a Sagittarius woman. With the Cancer woman, I get you could possibly be dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, but it's definitely a love situation. Yeah, you're putting to, and, and then I get the death card. So to me, that's confirmation of Cancer woman could be dealing with a Scorpio, but you are definitely putting a end to some things. And this is confirmation. Cancer is not playing. Like I get the feeling that Cancer is not about games. And this is wonderful, beautiful energy with the solar eclipse. Now, funny thing is, I didn't even see this come out. We have the Virgo card, the Hermit. You are seeking spiritual leadership and guidance. I think you are actually feeding your inner spirit man cancer for the end of July for this, this you know, towards going into August. This eclipse, solar and lunar, could possibly have a lot of people um, in their, you know, feelings. Could possibly be dealing with a Libra. Some of you could be dealing with um, some pregnancies. This could be the new start that I see. But could possibly be a, a Libra, Virgo, Libra cusp, September going into August, no, 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 into September, somebody's dealing with someone that's a Virgo, Libra cusp, or possibly, but also could possibly be dealing with a pregnancy as well, 
And Cancer, I get the feeling like you are, <laughs> I always get the feeling that Cancer's are petty in their own way. You know what I mean? I have, like I said, I have a moon in Cancer, but I have a Cancer brother, Cancer sister, and my son ended up being born on my sister's birthday. So, how about it? Um, all Cancers. So, I, I know that petty, <laughs> petty energy Cancers can have, you could tell them that they're petty, they don't care. Because Cancers, I feel like, put up with a lot, and after a while, they get tired of the BS, you know what I mean? But you definitely have victory over someone, someone feels defeated, um... Possibly a Libra feels defeated, and I think they're giving in. That's what I feel like they're giving up. I don't know if they're giving in to you or they're giving up, Cancer. But I definitely get the feeling that you have the victory in the situation, but it's not true victory. It's like you won the fight. They're just going to cave in, but it's really not. Yeah, yep. But you possibly could be repeating a situation with a Two of Cups energy. Um, with the Scorpio, Virgo, Libra. Hmm. You're definitely completing a cycle and starting with a new one. You're starting a new cycle with a Two of Cups energy, a soulmate energy. Um, one thing I noticed how the Two Cups intertwine going towards the heaven. So, for me, I feel like this is a soulmate energy. And you could either have mental conflict because you could be going right back into the same cycle you were going in before. Something that you had intention on ending. Some people could be uh, conflicted with dealing with someone that they're having a child with as well. But this is going to cause some cancers, general reading, not for everybody, to look into spiritual guidance. Or a mentor of some sort. Also, I get another scenario. I feel like in the beginning towards um, the beginning of July, you possibly decided to complete something, end it, and start a new situation with someone new. Um, and someone definitely could have been jealous or in their feelings and, and decided, possibly a Virgo, they wanted to end or put a stop to what you were dealing with. Or who you were trying to start something new with. And they could feel victorious over something extremely petty. And this is an indicator of another cycle of the BS starting with this same old ex. Or you could possibly have a new start. A victorious start. And you're birthing a new energy into your life. I want to say the overall energy that I get for this is that there is a new cycle. There's an old cycle completing and there's a new cycle starting with the soulmate energy. Because death brings new beginnings. And if you notice here, you see the high priest or the hierophant. So to me, you're putting an end to an old situation and starting a new one, a new relationship, possibly with a Virgo or Libra. But you also could be possibly leaving a Virgo or Libra. And either this, this person feels defeated by you. Or you feel like you've defeated them in some way. Like they put their swords down. They're no longer indecisive. And they just like, you know what? I can't do it. But who's holding three swords? I get the I get two things. I get one, some cancers are going to end a whole toxic or a cycle with somebody and start a new one with someone new. Or the other cancers are going to end a situation within an ex and then go right back to it and start all over again with the same BS. They're gonna get they're gonna jump right back into that cycle with that old flame feet first. I hope not. And they're definitely, you're definitely going to get communication from either an ex or this new person. I feel like a Libra. I here's what I get. I get a petty Libra or Virgo coming back to start an argument 
with you and your new flame. I got that before. I just didn't want to seem stupid about it. But I got it again when I saw the Eight of Wands. Some Virgo, Libra, Cusper. Someone with Scorpio in their chart, possibly. Um, but a Scorpio, Virgo, or Libra. Some combination of the three. Could possibly be trying to come in and separate you or start an argument between you and your new person, like cause um, discord. And they're going to be petty and smug and feel very proud about that. Like they got heartbreak in their hand. They got the three swords in their hand. And they're going to knock down any indecision that they have with that situation. Either bringing you back to them or forcing you back to the other person. I know it sounds odd. It'll make sense. <laughs> For those that understand what their situation is, they'll make sense. For you but again this is a general reading and you could pick up on multiple stories by doing readings for you know a general population but i definitely do get swift communication of some sort from a libra or virgo definitely an ex especially a libra i don't know why this libra is like standing out to me this libra is like a libra with a lot of water in the chart this libra is standing out to me for cancer I keep trying to add Virgo and Scorpio, but the further it gets away, because I feel like this Libra is right next to this, this mess. Well, I do apologize if it was a little confusing. It was a little confusing to me. <laughs> but thank you so much. Sorry about the background noise. Thank you so much, guys, for visiting and watching. Uh, take care. I'll see you in the monthly August readings. Bye-bye, Cancer.